Hey guys, I'm for Sleeping Reverie here. Today is a big show. It is the one year anniversary of my Arm for Sleeping Reveries Power Ranger Morpher Review Show. So today's show is going to be behind the scenes look, more of a casual behind the scenes look of my Power Ranger collection in my office. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for the support. It's been one year strong. Here's to another year and a year after that. We'll keep doing this as long as one person keeps watching. There's been a few. There's been more than one. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Everyone that's made this possible. Um, thanks to the people I met at Power Morphicon that watched my show. John John, Jake, a lot of other people. Um, you know, so thank you guys once again. And here's to another year. So let's go check out the office I have in the collections. This is my apartment, by the way. So let's go check out my collection. Okay, this is my office. Uh, first thing I want to show you guys is um, the movie poster wall. I have um, both Power Ranger movies framed in my office. They're actual movie size. So um, this one is uh, an original one because if you notice... Um, the Saban logo right there, bam, it's the old school one. So this is an original, not a repo. I'm pretty sure this one's a reproduction, which is okay. Because um, I just wanted it. Because if you see, you see the new Saban logo right there. Which is okay, it's okay. Um, so I got both movies framed to show my appreciation and love Power Rangers. Great movies. And I have a lot of hobbies. So we'll see that in this video. But uh, mostly six Power Rangers for the theme of my show. I like football, so there's my football stuff. I also like wrestling, so there's my replica wrestling belts, <coughs> excuse me, replica wrestling belts I've attained over the years, um, dirty clothes, which you, the guys don't even need to care to see, um, my video game corner with my video game boxes, my Star Wars Xbox, my Red Wii, and my PS3, um, my shoes, all my Nikes, 6.0s, a lot of shoes, jeans and stuff. Um, these Supras and more Nikes, more shoes right here, so yeah, I have more shoes than anyone should have. Um, a hat rack of my school, my favorite teams, so yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the cool corner. That's, I'm going to introduce you guys to what I call the cool corner. Um, I have a Power Rangers official fan club kit right here, and it was complete. I've sp I spent about 40 um, not 40 I spent $25 on it on eBay. The max price you should pay for this complete is $45 to $50. If you get it for $50, it's still a pretty decent deal. Anything above $50 is kind of a ripoff. So that's the price point. I paid $25. Don't pay more than $45, $50 on eBay. It should be complete. Make sure it's complete. Star Wars Monopoly because Star Wars is cool. A little Stormtrooper clock. So yeah, it's a really cool set. Everything in there was sealed. I got all the pictures and everything. Pretty cool. I'll review it one day when I have some time to get into more details. Now this is where all the magic happens. This is the corner. Um, as you guys have seen throughout my videos, all my morphers are here. It's a morpher collection. Um, it started with um, these two last year. My first review was on these two morphers. So um, they have a special place in my heart. Um, so yeah, and um, just um, you guys have seen all the morphers. Here they are. Bam, on order by season. I don't have Zeo up right now because um, I'm restoring my Zeo morpher. Once I'm done with that, it's been having some issues. Once I'm done restoring it, it'll go back in the spot, but the logo's right there. So, bam. These are all the morphers. I've even upgraded a few of them. Got some new ones, like the the Thunder the Thunder Ninja Storm ones from the Crimson Ranger. And, um, bam. So, here's all the morphers. There's a black SPD one, but you can't really see it because of the bad light in here. Kruger's morpher. Um, that's another one I upgraded. And um, I upgraded my um, RPM phone morpher to the Japanese version because it's just cooler and better. So um, RPM is one of my favorite seasons. So I upgraded it. So bam. Why not have all the morphers from Japan on RPM? And I have a black box morpher, which you can't really see because of the light. Um, there you go. Maybe you can see it now. Kind of, yeah. So yeah, those are my Samurai Morphers. I'm going to make some room for the Mega Force season. I'm going to start looking um, in January for the Mega Force Morpher in the stores. I've seen some toys already. So back to the stuff you really don't see. Red and Green Ranger right there. I got for Christmas last year. Pretty awesome. A Dragon Dagger. Um, the Green Ranger is my favorite of all time. So not too into the White Ranger for some reason. That's a whole other story for a whole other video. 
But the Green Ranger is my favorite of all time. So I got that for Christmas last year. These are Christmas. Um, I got um, I bought these recently. Uh, my two favorite Rangers from Samurai. Um, I'm more partial to Antonio Gold Ranger because his character is just cooler, and I relate. But um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, there's my Red Ranger movie um, toy I got for Christmas last year, and um, now these are the box sets I have. It's the complete series. It's the Mighty Morphin, including Alien, um, Alien Rangers, all the way to Lost Galaxy. I'm gonna watch them. I'm gonna watch them all this break after finals. So yeah, this is it right here. Um, trying to get you a cool little side view so you can see the disc inside. I'm on the the fourth DVD box of the original. So once I finish all those, and there's five in there, uh, not including special edition amount special features, I'm gonna start on Zio and watch them all. I'm excited. I love these damn things. So yeah, I'm gonna collect them. And I'm gonna I'm, my goal is to get every single season on DVD or Blu-ray. Hopefully we get there. Now another cool part of my office is this picture right here. I got framed. Um, this picture came with um, the official fan club kit. It was intact, you know, nothing was wrong with it. So um, my family just kept telling me to get it framed. So I got it framed. Here it is. Kind of just, you know, brings everything back to retrospect, you know, full circle. You have all the seasons here represented. Mega Force coming soon. I'm going to make room for that, I promise. And then, you know, when I'm stressing out and studying, I just look up for a second and see this. And it just puts everything in perspective. Pretty cool, in my view. So, yeah, it just goes back to the original in America. So yeah, so next um, is my Zord section. I'm going to up my Zord game after Christmas, hopefully. But right now, here's what I have. Dragon Zord, White Tiger Zord, on the box. Um, didn't um, Got them for Christmas last year. But I bought the Samurai Megazord around this time last year at Target. Um, High Octane Megazord I bought on eBay for a really good price. Got it for 30 bucks, so that was a steal. Then you have, I have two loose Red and Green Rangers. I bought at a thrift store in Austin. I lived in Austin. Uh, a couple of years ago, and they were only like three bucks a piece, so it was worth to have, even though they were missing everything just for three bucks. Kind of mess with them because I can't mess with the ones in the packages. But yeah, there you go. So next is my, um, you know, get stuff done wall for school and my Power Ranger stuff. Get stuff done. This is relating to my um, law school aspirations. I graduate next semester, so I'm going to head off to law school. Um, here's my homework for school. Um, it's all done, obviously. Finals are next week. Um, now here's some cool stuff. This is my, uh, my membership tag for Power Morphicon. Um, I've shown you guys that on my video before, my Power Morphicon pin. It's pretty awesome. Um, I have a Red Ranger, um, decal. Um, I have a Green Ranger decal. It's on my Honda Element, and people really like that. I think it's really, really cool. A little Power Morphicon insert. Um, these are wristbands for football games at my, uh, university. So, um, yeah, so, and this, the next thing I'm going to show you is pretty cool. It's pretty awesome because it shows I really like Power Rangers since I was a kid. Um, it's a picture I found in my mom's house of me being seven years old, meeting the Green Ranger. Here it is. It's a fake Green Ranger, but when I was a kid at the time, I didn't know. Yes, I was a fairly chubby kid, I understand. Um, and you can't really tell because the video quality, but in my hand, I'm holding the VHS video. Uh, it's probably Green with Evil Part 5, if I recall. I had that when I was a kid. Um, so yeah, so me, me and the Green Ranger was a big deal and it's kind of shows how much I've liked Power Rangers my whole life. So I put it here as a reminder of all this stuff I have in my potential future man cave stuff. It's my office, but it's going to be my man cave when I have a house in the future. So next I'll go to pictures of Power Morphicon. Uh, me with Jason Font. Really, really nice guy. Really, really cool. Really nice. Had a good time meeting him. Then this is me and my fiance at the big Red Ranger statue when you walked in the convention center. Uh, shout out to my fiance. Um, she's the one that kind of coordinated the whole trip. I always wanted to go. She supports my Power Ranger habit. Um, I always wanted to go, but if, it didn't, if the money didn't fit, I wasn't going to go. She made sure it happened to fulfill my dream of going to Power Morphicon. So thank you. And um, her and David Yost really got along. David Yost um, complimented her and told her she was really pretty, so I must be doing something right. So thank you, uh, if you're watching, thank you for um, helping this happen for me. It means a lot to me. So yeah, so this is the um, next picture. Speaking of David Yost, there's me and David Yost. Bam, uh, David Yost is a really nice guy. Great, great actor, great ranger, but more importantly, a great person. His panel was awesome. So yeah, it was really, really important to me to meet him because he's a great person. So there's David Yost. Um, so yeah, all my homework as you guys can see. This is my desk area. So you can see there's my sign, so you guys know it's me and my show. 
And um, this game I bought on Tuesday when it came out, Power Rangers Super Samurai for Connects. It was in the living room, but I brought it here due to time constraints. Um, so yeah, so um, this is the game. I won't be able to play it so after finals, but I'm excited to play it because you can actually kick and stuff. And yeah, the morphing sequence is pretty sick. It puts your face in it. So it got me kind of excited and I, and I fanboyed a little bit. It's okay though. The Power Rangers. This is the complete Super Samurai season. came out Tuesday. It's kind of funny because the season finale, unless my DVR is wrong, is not till tomorrow on Nick Jr. I'm not going to give any spoilers out, but it's pretty cool. Check it out. And so, yeah, um, it's also available on Blu-ray for the first time. I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray, but they didn't have it in the store. So I bought it on DVD to suffice right now, and I'll get it on Blu-ray after, you know, Christmas and stuff. Hopefully, I'll order it online. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. The season finale is awesome. Uh, it's time to say goodbye to Super Samurai and hello to Megaforce. I'm excited for Megaforce, and I'm going to miss Super Samurai. As you guys know, I love all the seasons. Um, my uh, Dre Beats, but more importantly, um, here's uh, Jason Fonts 8x10 to Chris on my best. Wes, really nice guy. My convention coin right there. Mario sitting on loose change. Um, Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. Um, I really, really like Big Bang Theory, so there's Sheldon, my Dre Beats, some CDs I found. Me and Walter Jones. Really, really cool um, guy when I met him. Really nice. My mom um, knew I had such a good time at Power Morphicon. I sent her these pictures. She got, them, um, she got them blown up for me. All the ones you saw over here. And this one right here, she got blown up for me to get. And she got me a frame for it, too. Because she knew I had a good time. So thank you, Mom. Shout out to Mom. Uh, Walter Jones is really nice. Really cool to see him. Football fan, so you know I have my Houston Texans helmet. Um, but back to Power Rangers. My Mega Bloks collection. Um, I bought randoms of, of Mooger, uh, pink, pink Mega Ranger, Blue Mega Ranger, and I wanted the gold so bad and I kept not getting him in the randoms. I just bought the Mega Block set at Target for 10 bucks, put it together. It's pretty cool because it has like the Barracuda Blade and it just has all the cool little stuff on it. So I bought it and this is where I kind of do my work and, um, you know, my 3DS and there's a little, little Jaden figurine. Uh, more importantly, let's go to my communicators. I wear these out every day when I go out. School, work, whatever, play. Um, bam, these are my communicators. This one's made by my friend John John. Um, this one's made by Star Studios. My friend John John, um, the pros of this one is very, very screen accurate. Um, but the cons is he didn't paint the sides. But other than that, everything else is painted and it's in great shape. And it's very screen accurate. Star Studio. Pros is that quality is 110%. As always, with Starlight Studios, they're the best seller of props on eBay, in my opinion. There's some green elements, but it's not as screen accurate, and the size is very wide. As opposed to this one's more screen accurate and thinner. So I love these things. I wear them all the time. They're awesome. People always ask me what kind of watch it is, and I explain to them. So yeah. So yeah, this is my office. And last but not least, you have um, the David Yost, um, eight, uh, I don't think it's 8 by 10 but 2 Chris, all the best. Uh, Billy. So David Yost, once again, was a really nice guy. So I framed this up too from Power Morphica. So this is my office. Miscellaneous school stuff, printer, books, book corner, you know, um, Pikachu and some Pokemon DVDs. But other than that, mostly book corner for school, my backpack. So once again, Arm for Sleep and Reverie signing off here. Here's one last look at my office. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a great year. Here's to another year. If you have any questions, comment below. No hate, all love. Um, you know, you guys know I'm a pretty anti-bullying proponent. So yeah, here's all my stuff, and I hope you guys enjoy. This is a special be behind-the-scenes look of Arm for Sleep and Reverie signing off here, and my Power Ranger Morpher review show. And I hope you guys have a really good day, and thank you for watching. And here's one last look, and it began with these two Morphers. And let's here's to another year. Have a good day. Thank you guys so much for supporting my show. Take it easy.